feel stabilized. Entaro Adun. Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Fuck Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of Circa Brood War Remaster. Today it's gonna be Soma and Mini here on Vermeer for a Patreon cast. For those of you who support me on patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin for at least one dollar a month, top right, it's gonna be Soma, and in the bottom left, it's gonna be Mini. Soma kinda olive colored here, and Mini is sporting white as Perotas. The alternative is yellow versus yellow, which is kind of bad, but hey, olive versus white is kind of hard to pick out, but we can handle that, right? Right. So, Terry the Overlord moving out. What's up, Terry? You have Terry merch at falconpaladin.store. As you all know, and again, if you're watching this the week of March the 22nd, thank you so much for supporting me at patreon.com slash falconpaladin for at least $1 a month. I do appreciate you. I do love you. I feel your love every single day. It does help me continue to making uh, make Brune War content. I know how grammar works, and we are uh, gonna go. I'm gonna guess a forge on. No, you know what? Gateway. Gateway. It is. So if you're watching this the week of March the 22nd, 2024, thanks again. If you're watching this in like April 2024, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. I'm here. Like what, six times a week? Yeah, six times a week with Brood War content, including Sunday streams, which were a lot of fun. You should check those out, man. There are viewer submitted replays. We sprinkle in some pro replays there from players like Flash, from Soma, and from Mini, from Light. I mean, last, all sorts of great players. We play live games together out there too. So if you're like, oh, where can I play some live games with other StarCraft fans? Right here, right here on this channel, Sundays at noon Eastern US. So that's like, you know, 8 p.m. in Europe or something. It's a good place. It's a good time, I think. It's like the middle of the night for Australians, which I feel bad about, but I don't know. I had to leave somebody out. Pool coming in and not gas yet. So these are links for defensive purposes only. Maybe a little bit of, bit of scouting there. No real intention for being crazy and aggressive with Zerglings based on that gas timing. And are we faking a cannon rush? This pro positioning sometimes makes me think we're faking a cannon rush, but not gonna do that today, although that is very fun. If you didn't see Pro Cheese Comp number, call what number is it, 10 or something that came out last month or so, go check it out. It does have some of that. It has some actual cannon rush attempts against Zerg. It has some fake out cannon rush attempts against Zerg, which is hilarious, because the Zergs are like, uh, uh, I don't know, third hatch coming in too. He's blind, by the way. This is Soma not having any idea what's going on. And yeah, not having this gas allows him to get the mineral in and come to get this third base up quicker. He is getting in the gas now, though. And where's our Zealot, man? Here he is. Here's our Robert the Zealot. He's got merch at falconpaladin.store as well. Gas, first gas on the way here from Mini. Okay, expansion wrapping up. Probe's job is really just to keep an eye on this. He saw the gas timing, though, and he's like, this is not a speedling flood. There's just no way on Earth or... Ire, or Char, or any other planets in the Caprulu sector, that this is going to be any type of a Ling Flood thing, because gas is going to be so late, and anymore in the current meta, you're getting a layer before you get speed for Lings anyway. So, generally, right? And based on the late gas timing, this is going to be first 100 gas is going towards a layer. I'll bet you a dollar. I'll bet you a dollar, person who doesn't believe me. First 100 gas... There it is. And it's metabolic boost. <laughs> Falcon, you silly, silly, silly person. Wow, I'm really surprised by that. Like, why would you get metabolic boost at four minutes before lair? Are you really trying to do some like super delayed ling flood? There's drones in production. I don't know why speed matters here, unless you really want to take down this probe. But you don't. You don't really want to take down this probe. It's not a big deal. You just block the ramp, and if it tries to get up the ramp, it dies, and you try to cut it off with your slow lings, and it's fine. I mean, Mini's doing a great job keeping this probe alive, in all fairness, but, uh... Look at these. Look how many lings there are whose job in life right now is to prevent this probe. It's trying to block it from getting inside the main base, and does manage to get a drone up on that ramp to prevent... Okay, so finally the probe dies. Takes a bad angle for once. Takes a million hits and dies. 
So, saw the number of lings and said, mm, let's just make a cannon back here just to be safe. Let's produce some Corsairs to force a Zerg player to respond to that. Macro hatch. Finally, a lair starts here at five minutes. This has to be a Hydra Den. There's no way you're dealing with the Corsairs if you don't Hydra Den. There it is. Hydra Den next to the macro hatch here at the natural base. Fair. Fair and valid is the play here. Citadel of a Dune is on the way. Whether that's for DTs, Fast Storm, Zealot Legs, I don't know. This is a DEFCON 1 replay as designated by RJB of youtube.com slash at rjb underscore tv fame so check him out leave a comment let him know thanks for all of the replays that he sends to me keep me well well stocked with replays for my goodness for the absolutely foreseeable future rjb is responsible for a lot of the awesome on this channel gotta thank him every time so uh hydra out which means overlord alive which means good good job hydra Excellent work. Second gas on the way from Soma. Not getting that third gas yet. He's trying to wall off against what is going to be speed zealot attacks at some point. At his third, probably. Natural has some nice SimCity going here, too. A sunken getting tossed up right there would be nice. Corsair doesn't have any kills <laughs> because there are Hydras out. It takes like 41 to 42 shots for a Corsair to kill an Overlord. Zealot's moving up for his Zealot speed timing attack. Although I don't know. There's a bit of time left there. Templar Archive's on the way. We'll see if this is for DT or not, which is always fun. And Templar Archive's is done. We get Storm. We just get Storm. We start up too high Templar and get some Storm. All right. So it's not DT Corsair or anything insane like that. But seriously, like a sunken at each base is kind of worth its weight in gold here. Uh, I don't know about this, Soma. I don't know. Trying to believe in you. I really am here. But dude, I mean, I like Hydras. I'm not an anti-Hydra person. I like them. Wow, are these guys really just pulling back? What is... There's like... There are four Hydralisks at this base. What part of you said... Hmm. There are four Hydras at that third. Better pull back forever. He's not even pulling back just a little bit. He's pulling back big time. Plus one armor is on the way here from Mini. Macro hatches. I like it. I Every ZVP, man. <sighs> I worry that the Zerg player is going to go into Hydra Lurker. Go too hard into Hydra Lurker. Not have enough time to get Plague and Dark Swarm up. And then just the sheer number of Zealots and Dragoons. And High Templar with Storm just overwhelms the Zerg player and they die. It's one of my least favorite things to cast. Because it's just so avoidable. Just get a Hive. Not right now. I'm not telling you to get a hive at 8 minutes. But seriously, around 10, 11, 12 minutes, if you haven't won the game yet, if you haven't made substantial progress towards winning the game, like killing the third base of your enemy, for example, just do it. Just get the queen's nest, get the hive. You'll be glad you have it. It's weird that I feel like I have to tell these pro players this, but man, do they get sunk deep deep into Hydra Lurker and then once once all the tools are out from the Protoss, okay, again, no sunkens here at this natural base so drones are dying drones are fighting these zealots Hydras have to funnel in here too, they don't want to do that, every drone that dies is so precious, that's why you didn't want to make a sunken was because every drone that dies is so precious but how many drones did you die by not making a sunken Wait, how many drones did you die? How many drones did you lose by simply not making a sunken? Ay, caramba. All right, zero, zero Hydras. Zelter at plus one attack. Fourth base is coming in here. It does have gas. It's a big deal for the Zerg player. Lurker aspect on the way. So, yeah, this is very Hydro Lurker, right? This is insanely Hydro Lurker. 
kill those eggs. Had to kill, I think, a pylon to get out of here. Maybe not. Maybe Mini was too smart to have that happen. Cannons with Zealots, with Storm. Going to be enough to defend against Hydras and Lurkers in a very nice way. And it is a Queen's Nest. Okay, so Falcon Breeze, a big sigh of relief. I just feel like I've cast a bunch of games recently. <laughs> Where Zergs are like, who needs Hive Tech? Hive Tech is for chumps. And then bad things happen. I've also cast a couple games where they've been fine. Hydro Lurker has, in fact, won the day. It's not easy. I feel like it's kind of hard mode. Honestly. Against a really good Protoss player like Mini is, right? Yeah, these zealots are like, no, but hey, what if I call all of my friends? Observatory on the way. Recognizing the threat of Lurkers. Hive coming in once the Queen's Nest finishes. And every Zerg player watching breathe a sigh of relief. Ah, including me. Including me breathing a big sigh of relief here. Okay, very good. So high ground, lurker positioning. We know how that works. We've got a bunch more hiders running around. They have plus one attack now themselves. Gateway units or ground units are at 1-1 one, one for the Protoss. It's 139 to 120 supply, but hiders are pretty good. I don't know. I don't think this is a really threatening push. Pretty sure Mini knows that too. Supply blocking some was pretty nice though. Never say no to supply blocking, honestly, anybody in a game of StarCraft. Supply blocking is a good, good spell. Storm up, pretty well dodged here by Soma. Lurker Spines doing what they can from distance here. Getting a little bit of deja vu. I've definitely cast a game recently, a ZVP, where this is the situation. Lurkers are here. Protoss kind of has the high ground. But I think it was a later game situation because Dark Swarm and Plague were involved. So this is not the same game as a fourth base comes in for Mini down south. Down south, Hydra, Lurker, this, uh, I don't know, does Mini, he wants to head up into this third base. Lings are engaging, they don't have Adrenal yet, so they're not doing particularly well here. Go, 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 no! Don't get dragged back in this, just go up here! Oh, what are those zealots doing? They wanted to stay with their friends, they didn't want to go up there and potentially die, it was so scary. And Mini does have to fall back, but he's up 174 to 113. This really should be something of a win here for Mini at this point. Come on. Come on. Look how much up he is. He's got Storm. He's got Zealots. 1-1 one, one upgrades and 2 attack is not too far away. And these Lings have 0-0. Zero, zero. And I don't think they even have speed yet. No, they do have speed because we saw it come through. This is not a good angle to attack in for Mini. Look at all these Dragoons on the back that aren't firing because they haven't joined the party yet. But, I mean, you almost have to force an engagement here before Dark Swarm shows up. It's just not a good angle for Mini at all. Storm on that left side. Good Storm on the Lurkers. Lurkers popping out, just eating Dragoon hits. And, my gosh, so many Lurkers just exploding in the ground for their death animation. 150 to 117 supply here. Mini falls back. He's got his plus two attack now. The Hiders have their plus two attack and plus one armor now. So upgrades are pretty even. And this Archon is going to... F no. Was going to finish. Oh, no. Did finish. Actually killed a Ling or two. Hey, surprise. It was big time surprise. Okay, I'm just waiting for Plague to come up. I think that's the last ingredient we need for this to be a super, super late game PBZ at this stage. Reavers, too. But Reavers are not as required as Plague would be. I don't know, man. Yeah, man. Zero, zero, or zero, one Adrenal Wings. Ground Carapace happening. Oh, shoot. Consume isn't done yet? He was producing Defilers. What the heck, Soma? Yeah, he has Defilers. Did he forget about Consume? 
That's why I was waiting for Plague. I figured Consume had come through the production tab already. Spire is on the way. 40 T's at a time in production. Maybe this is where Mini says I need some Maelstrom. It would be nice if we had some Maelstrom. Or maybe if we did some DT harass. I thought this third base would be good too. This is alright. I don't know that Soma's doing a great job engaging into this bridge area. Once again, though, the lurker count here, a lot of them have died, but there are still six lurkers, seven lurkers protecting that fourth base. With pretty good spread on those dudes, too. So, shuttle on the way tells me it's going to be DT harass. Dropping DTs, oh my gosh, dropping DTs up here would be pretty good. There's an overlord at the front door, so, I mean, throwing him back here to the back would not be that big of a deal, but hey. Plague's on the way, Spire finishing up. This could honestly be some mutas, except that Soma has, like, no gas in the bank. So that's a concern. And Reaver production has begun for Mini. All right, cool. So we got Plague. We got Reavers. We got all the things we need. Mini's up 50 supply, but it's not the 70 or 60 supply he was up a minute ago. But hey, five, five bases in 16 minutes has got to feel pretty good for him. I don't really don't see any problems with that at all. Soma throwing up his own fifth base at the right side, protecting it with Lurkers and some Zerglings. But, uh, what are we going to unload in here to try to deal with this? Zealots, High Templar, Storm Drop. These drones do not know that their time is limited. Oh, we made Scourge. Okay, so we're just going to unload DTs in the main. Storm Drop, kill a drone. And say, you... Oh, oh he does have an Overlord in the main. So he kills the Evo Chamber. Gosh, and the storm, the, this storm combo drop. Three more drones go down, and unloading here, does he have anything in that? He does. That High Templar manages to wipe out, oh my gosh, nine, 10, 11 drones. The Filer Mound is alive. This DT got a couple kills in here. Spawning pool goes down, though. That's a huge win for Mini. All right, man. Mini's up 196 to 138 supply. Worker count is 63 to 49. Soma can replace these drones, but doesn't have a ton of money to do it. And can you replace drones and make enough army to deal with this whole thing? This whole mess. So he's just like, all right, we're just going to bring Archons in, deal with these lurkers, I guess. It's messy, but you can afford to be messy when you're up 60 supply on Soma. This hatch is going to die. There's just not enough to save it at all. The lurkers burrow in. Dragoons are like, ah. We're just taking major hits. That's a lot of lurkers, man. With plus three attack, no less. The Dragoons are firing on plus two attack of their own. That hatch died. Drones have died. I think Mini has accomplished what he needed to here. Man, he needs more storm. That's so many lurkers. But Mini just hasn't lost a base yet. Really hasn't taken too much damage to his worker count either. You know, especially compared to how many drones died during that amazing tour of storms. That got stormed. This got DT attacked. This got stormed. And this got stormed all with one massive multi-shuttle attack there for Mini. That was really sick. Crazy, crazy good. And the Archon... Yeah, everybody knows they're dead here. Okay, so drone comes in to replace that fifth base. Man, is this a sixth base? Scouting out for a sixth base here is Mini. Just taking the whole southern half of the map, and I just don't know. Down about 30 supply here. Not where you want to be if you're Soma, but he's got the tools. He's got Plague. He's got Consume. <clears throat> he's got Defilers. He has to he had to rebuild his spawning pool, which he did. No big deal. I have no idea what this drop tried to do, but he did just manage to storm the Scourge that were chasing him. Ugh. Storms another Scourge that was chasing him, and Zealots are going to get some hits off on this hatchery that's coming up, but not be able to kill it. He'll be pretty severely injured, though. Man, like one more Zealot in that group, I think that hatch would be dead. Three hatches. In or three hatches. Three Zealots instead of two would have been a big deal. Scourge, no. Cannons, yes. I don't know. If Soma wins this thing, it's going to be an impressive comeback. It's going to be Plagues. It's going to be Dark Swarms. It's going to be some surround-style engagement that's going to go incredibly well. Look at this. The army heading up the right side with Reavers, by the way. Ugh. 
while this shuttle heads up the left side, but that was spotted by Lings. So he's going to hide behind the production tab for a second, see if we can get that off. But man, once Reavers are added to this comp, it's so tough. It's just so tough. Did they get this? Yes. So that shuttle hid for a minute, but not enough. And yeah, I mean, you probably do want to Dark Swarm this. Just because then the Dragoon damage is not as much of a concern, but man, there's enough Storm and Dragoon stuff here. Good jumping on that Reaver. Nice target firing. Both Reavers go down and Soma manages to shut this attack down with Prejudice. That's what I'm talking about. Surround style stuff. Hydra's coming in from the right side. Lings and Hydra's flooding in from the left too. Lurker's involved in that. And Soma actually wants to expand to a sixth base down this right side. I thought for sure Mini would be able to take that one. Oh, high ground lurkers up here. Harassing this one too. Dude, all right. This is pretty good stuff, Soma. He's suddenly only down about six supply. And here comes Soma. Big, nice concave. Plague! Ooh! Sick plague. First Dark Swarm of the day goes down. I think my vo voice broke there a little bit. Holy crap, Soma. I cannot believe he is actually in a position to win this game all of a sudden. He's at 54 drones, 56 probes. Okay, this lurker is still a problem. Okay, we'll just use cannon to deal with it? No, because we lost our high ground position. This is so weird. This is so weird. Just park an observer here. Okay, we got a plague. On top of that reaver, anytime you can plague a reaver, you're a happy camper. You're possibly the happiest of campers. My goodness. So yeah, Soma's defense of this right side base was the key, the turning point to this game. And I don't know. At this point, I kind of feel like Soma's in the lead with that sixth base running. Dark Swarm doing what it can. The Dragoons negated as usual, but Reavers big and scary. Zealots and Storm also good in here. Hydras from the right side. Lurkers from the left side trying to do what they can here. But... Gosh, is there enough? Archon just aimlessly wandering. Where are the obs? That's what I would like to know. My gosh, these lurkers are still denying. I think Soma might have done it. Taking this bottom right base and having lurkers denying most of the mining down here at this fifth base of mini is bonkers. It is a killer play, killer one two combo for him. Yeah, Mini's down in supply right now. He's down in worker count right now. This is bad. I'm really surprised Soma hasn't done more expanding up this top side. Mini on the move out. Okay, his army's going the wrong way. There are Dark Swarm Adrenal Lings in here. 3-2 upgrades on those Lings. Ground units are 3-2-2 two, two for the Protoss. Are we just going to base race at this point? Kind of feels like it, except Soma's like, nah, I'm going to leave some army home. I'm going to plague you. Got to got to trickle units in here because we're worried about the reaver shots and the storms. But is there enough? Is there enough Zerker to pull this off? And my gosh, these Archons, they don't take a ton of damage from Lurkers, but damage is damage. They take full damage from everything because they are all shield. That, oh, that shuttle going down. Thank goodness it has speed, says many fans. Okay, so we don't actually get a base race. We both kind of, I mean, a hat. Nexus goes down for Mini, trying to replant it up this left side here at a nine o'clock position. Can he, what, I mean, this base dying, it pro <sighs> providing a lot of larva production here from Soma, but other than that, I'm not sure how much of that it matters. We've got more Lings, more Hydras, more Lurkers flooding in here, just trying to make good trades as well as you can. Against Storm and that full surround stuff. What did I say Soma would have to do to win this game? It'd have to be surround engagements. That's exactly what he's managed to do here. He's up 135 to 125 supply. High Templar just okay. 
getting absolutely eaten by adrenalings there. Um, nom, 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 nom. There maybe is going to be attempt at a storm drop on this right side base. I mean, that's okay, but I'm not sure you can protect this new fifth base on the left side. Soma seems unconcerned with it. Play catches some of his own lings. Where is that shuttle? Did it not go? Did it go somewhere else? There's nothing that killed that shuttle. Maybe there were some scourge down here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I could see why this is a DEFCON 1 replay, man. Mini was up like 70 supply, and now he's down 50 supply. What an insane level of reversal here today. Bonkers. Bonkers. Alright, plague up on a few zealots. That's a good plague. Any plague on zealots is going to be a good plague. Mm -mm. Seventh base is up from Soma now. No, there's a lurker and there's an overlord and a sunken and that DT gets a drone kill. Oh, and Soma recognizes what's happening too, but not before he, he loses another drone. And a Zergling. That's about it. That's about it. Soma moving across with a big hodgepodge army of Hydras, Lurkers, Lings. The storms are going down, but there's so much more Zerg where this came from. Yeah, I don't know, man. Seven kills. GG! Minnie's like, I can't save this base. Yes, I've got a couple Reavers, but what do you think I am? Some kind of wizard? It's a fair question. It is a fair question, man. That was amazing. That was, uh, woof. That was an absolutely fantastic display there. What a great, great show. Like, what a great show of ZVP there from Soma. He was down so much. He got storms. He lost hatcheries today. But then all he had to do was defend this 3 o'clock base. He did it. He crushed Minnie's army. And from there, took this base. Minnie wanted it. No. Belongs to Zerg now. High ground harasses the fifth base of Mini. Ends up Dark Swarm killing it. And then takes another base. Protects that. And then comes over to crush this one and calls it a day. It's a multi-step process. He managed to pull it off quite, quite nicely. And yeah, man, there were Reavers out. There were Reavers, Archons, High Templars, Zealots, Dragoons. All of them with good upgrades too. Man. But yeah, 3-3 three, three on... Uh, the Hydras and the Lurkers, plus two attack here for the Lings. They don't have plus three there, but that's totally fine. Yeah, what a great Patreon game. I mean, that was understandably insanely good. Wow. So, well done there. Like, just nicely, nicely, nicely done there from our dude Soma. But what else do we expect from Soma? He's an incredible... Incredible player. Got the win over Mini, who is an intensely good Protoss player. And that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.